We're going to warm up, but first body alignment check. Keep that chest lifted and abdomens are tight. Tuck the hips underneath the buttock, buttocks and keep the knees soft over the second toe for a good base of support. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, come down in the center one vertebrae at a time. Keep those knees soft over the toes. Now bring the hand to support on the quadricep and extend to the right, warming up through the waist. And release to the left, nice and smooth. Now back to the right again for two. And reverse for two. And single count. And again. Now let's add a lunge to the movement. And bring the arms up above the head. Lift, release, lift, release, and again. One more time. And lift, and just a slight stretch for the tor torso. Extend, and release. Now bring the legs in. Find some support, either your couch or a chair, or just bring your hand up to the side. Bend the supporting knee and bring that heel up towards the buttocks. Make sure that that knee is parallel with the hip. Maintain a pelvic tilt and you'll feel a nice stretch through the quadricep. Now release from that position with the same leg, knee above the ankle, bend from the hips, supporting on the quadricep here, on the supporting knee, bring the toes up towards the face. Feel that stretch right through the hamstring and in the calf muscles as well. Releasing, find your support again. Bend the supporting knee. Bring the heel up towards the buttocks. Knee parallel with the hip. And releasing from this position, Make sure this knee is right up above the ankle, bend from the hips, back is flat, support on the quadricep, bring the toes up towards the face and you'll feel a lengthening stretch through the gastrocnemius and soleus and the calf, right up through the hamstring. Okay, our first exercise are squats and I'm going to be using my dumbbell weights to increase the intensity level. You don't have to though, if you're not feeling ready for that just yet. Keep the toes slightly outward just to help you maintain a comfortable position. Pelvic tilt and bend at the knees until your thighs are parallel with the floor. Keep your back straight and it helps if you focus your eyes straight ahead for balance. Now if you find this a little bit intense, let's take a look at the modified version. There you can use a chair for support. You know, another way of modifying this, of course, is not to use the weights. And, or, you could just come down halfway instead of making it a deep lift. So you pick the alternative that you feel most comfortable with. All right. Now, from here, let's move into 